I'm John Corlett, I'm Provost here at McEwen University, which means that I'm the Chief Academic Officer of the University. And these are my academic robes. These are the robes that I was eligible to wear after I completed my PhD. And everyone wears this kind of 16th century finery on graduation day, and it honors our traditions and our history. Universities go back, uh, it is reputed to be uh, to the 11th century, to the University of Bologna, which was founded in 1088 in Italy. Universities sprung up all over Europe after that in the 11th and 12th and 13th centuries in places like Paris and Oxford. Uh, we came a little bit later to this in the United States and Canada in the 17th century and uh, the 18th century in Canada. But everybody basically has this basic kind of garb. There is a gown. And now, of course, it is simply decorative, but of course, in the time of the 12th century or the 13th century, it was a basic piece of clothing. It was modest, it was warm, it was comfortable, and this is what everybody wore, especially if you were in the church, which is our origin. That's where we came from as universities. And accompanying the actual gown is the hood. This is my doctoral hood. It comes in different colors for different disciplines and different areas of study, as we can talk about later. Uh, the reason that you have a hood is that now, of course, it's decorative. It sits over the shoulder and onto the back. But the disadvantage of this particular gown, no pockets. This is a way for storing food, for storing money that people might pay you to be a teacher. Uh, it has the value of being a place for storage. Now, of course, it is, as I said, just decorative. Uh, the hat is, well, it's a hat and it keeps the rain off. And this particular structure, the Cambridge Bonnet, as it's called, from Cambridge University, is the one that I happen to have. The more common one that you see now, of course, is the flat and square mortar board that undergraduates wear. Uh, it, they all come with a tassel, and in my case, my tassel is supposed to sit on the left. Uh, all undergraduates, when they enter a graduation ceremony, actually should have their tassels to the right of the mortar board, and at that part of the ceremony where they are deemed to be graduates, they should move their tassels from right to left, and they will henceforth wear them on the left in any ceremony where they might wear a mortarboard. So if they go to graduate school and they graduate with a master's or a doctoral degree, when they come into that ceremony, they will still wear their tassels originally to the left because they have already received an undergraduate degree and they always wear them on the left after that. So this is the basic academic regalia that we all wear. It honors our traditions coming from the church and from the early universities and represents that sense of tradition and ties to an almost 1,000 year history that universities have.